To God be the glory. Let us open our Bible and read Luke chapter 2 verses 30 till verse 32. Praise the Lord. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, a light to lighten the Gentiles and the glory of thy people, Israel. There are three subjects in these three verses. His salvation, being prepared for all people, and the light and his glory that will be shown to the Gentiles and the people Israel. Now, what salvation refers? Unsa sa magiging kaluwasan, kikinahang lang yun nato, masabtan unsa ning kaluwasan, basi imo lang ning ilisan. Saway pulos nga muhatod kanimo sa imong kalaglagan nga walay katapusan. Kinang kailangan natin maintindihan ano po itong kaligtasan na ito na sinasabi. Baka maya-maya ito po ipagpalit nyo lamang sa mga bagay-bagay na maghahatid sa iyo, sa iyong kapahamakan ng iyong kaluluwa na walang hanggan. At magpapahamak sa iyong buhay dito habang nandito ka pa sa sanglibutang ito. We should understand very well what salvation refers. Salvation refers to the deliverance from sin and its consequences through faith in Christ Jesus. Ang kaligtasan, ito yung pagsagit sa lahat ng nino man tao sa sanglibutang ito mula sa kanyang kasalanan at pagsagit sa mga idudulot ng kasalanan sa pamagitan ng pananampalataya dyan lamang sa ating Panghinoong Hiso Kristo. Praise the Lord! So, salvation sparing you from your iniquities, from your sins, from your unrighteousness, from your ungodliness, from being disobedient son and daughter of God, and saving you from the consequence, consequences of sin, which is cursed and the eternal death. Now, you might be saying, Oh, that just will only take effect to those who believe God, but for those people who doesn't believe God, that words and statement will never, never take effect against them. No! Whatsoever God uttered, as what the Bible says, My word shall not return unto me void but it shall accomplish to which I please, and it will prosper where to I sent it. Dili pwede ni mo ingnon nga kini mo ipikto lang sa mga tao nga di nga mutuo kaniya, apan sa mga tao nga di mutuo kaniya, this will never take effect. Di ni mo ipikto sa mga tao di mutuo. No! Whether you believe or not, this will surely take effect in accordance to your behavior you have showed to the Creator. Look at up in heaven. When, last, when, when Lucifer rebelled against God, when Lucifer walked in his pride and he would dethrone God and take his place, imagine that, si Lucifer, Sa diha si Lucifer nagpataas sa iyang kaugalingon. Ni sukol sa iyang mambubuhat o gusto niya panaugon ang Dios sa trono kay siya nay mulingkod kay siya nay mahimong Dios og si ang Dios mao nay muluhod niya. What 
was the consequence. It is fatal. Fatal. Destruction. All those who went together with Lucifer, this place from eternal glory of God that they supposed to remain and are reserved for eternal damnation in hell. So, the consequence of sin is fatal. Siguradong mamatay ka, the wages of sin is death. And God would like to save you from such consequence. Praise the Lord. Gusto sa Diyos, luwasun ka sa maong ihatod ni mo tungod sa kasalanan. So salvation is deliverance from sin and from its consequence by faith in Jesus Christ. So therefore, do not disregard the salvation of God while it is available, while it is lasting. That is why call upon Him while He is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord for he will have mercy and abundantly pardon. Habang may panahon pa, habang may pagkakataon pa, do not disregard this salvation. As you have seen this salvation, do not let it go out of your hand. Ayaw na buhi eh. Kung nakita na nimo ang kaluwasan, pinagi sa pagtuo din ha kang Kristo Jesus, ayaw na buhi eh. Kupti na na nga maligon till death, till you die, till Jesus will come. Praise the Lord. Don't let it slip out of your hand because the chance might not come again to your life. Baka hindi na makabalik ang chance. Especially when you are already dead, having done nothing. What is appropriate to do? Di mo nagawa, namatay ka. Di mo nagawa ang dapat mong gawin para maligtas ka. Repent and turn away from your wicked ways and be the faithful unto death. Di mo yun nagawa, namatay ka na. Ula na. It's over. Ula ng chance. Kaya salvation is very, very. The most, you could say, the most important that is eternal benefit, eternal blessing that you should not let it go. Na hindi mo dapat mabaliwalain, hindi mo pwedeng uh, wag mong pagsikapan, hindi pwede i-disregard mo lang. No! Do not! Wag mong gawin, wag nating gawin gawin yan. Now, who could do this salvation for each of us, for all of us? There is no such person that can do it. There is no such personality that can do it for the salvation of anyone. And no one who has the idea of this salvation except our Creator. Praise the Lord. Because our Creator, He can reveal the end from the beginning. So, God is revealing to us the end from the beginning. From the beginning, how God made us from the start. He made us out of clay and this body will return where it came from. We are dust and unto dust we will return. God revealed that we never become living souls except the breath of life. He breathed into the nostrils of our father, Adam. So from the beginning, he revealed how God made human. Praise the Lord. And God revealed what will be the end of this physical body. This only will last. 70, 80, 90, 100 is so seldom. And he is also showing if this soul have sinned against his creator, this soul shall die in the second death in eternal 
punishment, damnation in hell. This is how God revealing the end of our destiny. So that we will be aware of that. Praise the Lord. See how God is revealing the end from the beginning. Paano niya hinahayag sa atin ang katapusan mula sa panimulain? Even this world is already revealed. How He made it from the start and how this will be over. This will be burned with a fervent heat. And all the elements and all that are therein shall be burned. And this is how God will judge this world against all ungodly people. But for those who are godly, no problem. For those who are godly, don't worry. Only the ungodly shall suffer the consequence because of sin. See, ganun ang Diyos, nililigtas niya tayo sa consequences ng kasalanan. Both temporal and eternal consequence. Kaya salvation, as, have, as you have seen it, grab the opportunity. That's why Simeon so happy. I have seen thy salvation, which prepared for all people of the world. A light to lighten the Gentiles and the glory of thy people Israel. Yan ang ating Panginoong Hiso Kristo. So again, no one, nobody can save us because there is no such personality who has the proposal of this salvation. Only God, our Creator. Praise the Lord. This idea came not from Elon Musk, came not from those people who are being adored by most of the people of the world because they have invented this, invented that. They are so, uh, have so much attainment, accomplishment of this world, but there is only one who can save us. There is only one who has the idea of that salvation. And no man and no people can compare nor can match the idea of the living God, the great salvation of God for us, for you, for everyone of this world. Let's read Isaiah 45, 21. Praise the Lord. Tell ye and bring them near. Yea, let them take counsel together. Who has declared this from ancient time? Who has told it from the time? Have not I the Lord? And there is no God else beside me. A just God and a Savior. There is none beside me. No one that declare and reveal about his being as God and there is none other else except he. There is only one God and there is none else beside him and God and Savior. So salvation derived from a certain Savior that would bring salvation. Savior means that saves. Praise the Lord. Saving to bring salvation. Saan nagsimula? Where it did origin from the only God. The only God which is God the Savior. And no one can do, no one can perform salvation to any man of this world. Even to mankind except God, the only Savior. Now the question is, where is that God? Where we could find that God? Where we could uh, locate His location so that let's go to Him, let's believe Him, let's worship Him and obtain all His kindness, all His mercy, all His loving kindness to bring Salvation to all of us. Where is that God? Praise the Lord. 
Let's read, where is he? Psalms 115, verse 3. Praise the Lord. But our God is in the heavens. He hath done whatsoever he hath pleased. That is, the true and genuine God that dwelleth in the heavens. Praise the Lord! You cannot make God made by man's hand like idols. You cannot do to the true God to be put on the altars. Having eyes, they cannot see. Having nose, they cannot smell. Having mouth, they cannot speak. Having head, they have no thought. Having feet, they cannot walk. No, God up there. Praise the, Praise the Lord. If he would bring message to earth, it must be from heaven. Praise the Lord. That is why salvation was proclaimed by a person, personality which came from heaven. Because the one who declared it dwelleth in heaven. And if he would bring good news to earth, he must send someone from heaven. That's why it was proclaimed by an angel who came from heaven. Because only God can proclaim salvation. Praise the Lord. How it was when Jesus Christ was born, how it was being proclaimed, how it was being reported to mankind. Was it reported by a king? By a governor? By any among the people of the world? No. It was proclaimed from heaven. Who came from heaven? Let's read. And these were when the Shepherds tending their flocks by night at the time. Let's read Luke 2, 10 and 11. Praise the Lord. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. <coughs> This is the legit way of salvation which most of the people of the world believe that there is eternal life. But some people believe that eternal life came by Buddha, came by gods, came by Lucifer, whatever, whatever. Allah, whatever, whatever. But this is the genuine Savior. And there is no Savior beside Him. Because this is, came from heaven because the true and the genuine God dwelleth in the heavens. And if He would bring some news and message toward the earth, He must bring someone from His place, from heaven to be sent over the earth. And this is how it happens. Paano nangyari? Ito talaga. Praise the Lord. It was like an alien, not earthly one, not earthly personality, but it is a heavenly personality. It is an angel of God who dwells in the heavens. He sent over the earth and proclaimed this good news among the shepherds. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy. Hindi lang ang bigas maging 20 pesos ang kilo. Hindi lang ang maistra magkaroon ng one month vacation without disturbing them. Hindi lang pataasan ng sweldo ng sundalo. Hindi lang magkaroon ka ng free visa going of many beautiful countries. 
but this good news, but this good tidings, that great joy for all people is about salvation of God. Praise the Lord! For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And God said, for the verse that we read before this verse, there is only one God and there is none else, God and Savior. And that is, became flesh. Emmanuel, God is with us. But God visited us without any harm because he humbled himself and took up a form of a servant. Because if God will come in his glory, in his being as God, the supreme, the creator of everything, no one could look to him, live. Walang makakita sa kanya or can see him, live. All of us shall die instantly because of his glory. We are not worthy of that. But since of the love of God, God is willing to wash us. God is willing to transform us. God is willing to make us worthy to dwell in his presence in eternal heavens. Praise the Lord. This is how God brought his good news. Do not ever refuse Jesus. That will be the greatest mistake you can do of your entire life. Do not refuse Jesus. He is the only God. He is the only creator. He is the only savior. Salvation came from him. And he can only perform salvation. There is none else. And that is God. Praise the Lord. Do not refuse Jesus. You know, you want to be saved, you have to build it by yourself. You want to have good business, build it by yourself. You want good grades in your studies, build it by yourself. You want to excel in your career, build it by yourself. You want to be saved, you are a builder. Of your salvation. Now, sino ang kailangan natin? If we are building our eternal glory, eternal salvation by the only God and by the only Savior, which is Jesus Christ, therefore, do not refuse that stone which most of the builders refuse. Let's read. Acts verse Chapter 4, verses 10 until 12. Praise the Lord. Be it known unto you all and to all the people of Israel that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom ye crucified, whom God raised from the dead, even by him doth this man stand here before you whole. This is the stone which was set at naught of you builders, which is become the head of the corner, Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. You see? Verse 11. This is the stone which was set at naught of you builders. Ito yung bato na hindi nila binigyan ng halaga at ito'y itinapon at ito'y sinantabi ng mga builders who are these builders, the people of the world. If you want to build eternal glory, eternal life, eternal riches, build using the only one foundation and that is the cornerstone and that is no other than but Jesus. This is the stone which was set at naught of you builders, which is become the head of the corner. Neither is there salvation in any other, 
For there is none other name under heaven given among men, given among us, whereby by him we should be saved. So if you refuse Jesus, who can therefore can save you? Wala na. No option, no choice. You cannot say, oh, there are so much creators. You know Mormons? They have the Holy Bible and there is a book of Mormons attached. The Bible is complete. Do not diminish nor add. Praise the Lord. Do not attach any book beside the Bible. Because if you attach another book, that will be adulterated. That is no longer pure. Adulterated. Because some beliefs of those Mormons, there are so much creators. No, it cannot be. There is only one creator. There is only one God. Even Satan believed and trembled and he knows that there is only one God. Even Satan believed that there is only one God. So, therefore, as we are the builders of our eternal glory, eternal salvation, do not refuse the only cornerstone which is no other than Jesus Christ. Wag mo i salikway ay salikway si Ginong Su Kristo sa imong unod sa imong garbo sa imong kilibgon sa mata sa imong pagkakalibutanon sa imong pagkahugawan sa imong pagkaliko sa imong pagkadautan sa imong pagkadili Dios non no do not exchange do not put Jesus to not but put Jesus as the foundation of your great salvation as a builder. Use Jesus, put Jesus as the foundation of your salvation because He is the only Savior. Praise the Lord. You know what God feels after Adam fell into the hand of his enemy? What God felt God cannot have peace in his heart. That is why from the start, he sent Noah to proclaim his righteousness. But what happened? Only eight souls believed the preaching of Noah and most of the population of the entire world disregard him. So all of them perished. Only eight souls were saved during that time. And he sending his prophets. There are so much already being sent by God to save the people of the world. And finally, before he is going to finalize everything so that people has no more excuse, he himself came. What is man that he is so mindful to us? What is man that he visited us? He visited us. Praise the Lord. Why? Who are we? We are created in his likeness. And God doesn't want to destroy his own image. He loved us. He treated us as his children. And we are the only creatures of this earth called children of God. And be, therefore, if children of God, ears of his properties of his kingdom. Don't take light on that. Wag niyo yung isisihin. Because Satan will bully us. Satan will make us to deceive, to confuse, to be discouraged, not to believe our creator, not to believe our Jesus Christ, not to follow his his statutes and his commandments. Satan will always point to himself that he is the good one, that he is the light one. That he is so good because he permitted all the people whatsoever you want. You want to love as being a lady to your fellow lady? Do it. You want multiple 
Mary Jess, do it. You want to have lustful activity as being a single to your girlfriend or to your boyfriend? Do it. That is how Satan promote his goodness. Kono, but it's not. It is wickedness. It is detestable. It is abominable, and that is subject for expulsion in the presence of God when you will go back to Him. Kaya God is always revealing what is the truth. God is revealing everything for us. Praise the Lord. That's why Jesus said, If you continue in my word, then you are my disciples indeed. You can never be follower of Jesus if you do not continue in his word. And you will know the truth and the truth that will make you free from the deception of Satan. Wala nang iba. Kaya as a builder of our eternal glory, eternal salvation, do not put Jesus to naught. Do not ever do that. Praise the Lord. Make Jesus as the foundation of your eternal glory, eternal salvation. Remember that we are the builders of our eternal glory. And God made it possible for us through our Lord Jesus Christ. So God has no peace when Adam fell to sin. Until he made everything to spare his children. But only those who believe him that are being saved. And only and those who do not believe him, he cannot save them. He cannot save them to those who do not acknowledge his being Godhead, loving father and the creator. You don't acknowledge him. You disown God. You neglect God. You don't believe him, you don't have part in his riches. But punishment, because you are being ungrateful, you're being wicked, you're being disobedient son and daughter of God. So God cannot hold his peace. He cannot until the salvation must go forth. Praise the Lord. Let's read. Isaiah 62, 1 and 2. Praise the Lord. For Zion's sake will I not hold my peace, and for Jerusalem's sake I will not rest until the righteousness thereof go forth as brightness, and the salvation thereof as a lamb that burneth. And the Gentiles shall see thy righteousness, and all the kings thy glory, and thou shalt be called by a name a new name, which the mouth of the Lord shall name. Yes. Hallelujah. God cannot hold his peace. For the Zion's sake, for the Israel's sake, for the Gentile's sake, until righteousness and salvation go forth. Ganon ang Diyos. Iisihin mo? Iniisnab-isnab mo yung mga salita niya? Try it. Subukan mo. That is why the Bible says, those who break that stone will be pulverized. Ikaw ang mapupulverized. If you try to trod upon that stone, you will be pulverized. Kaya don't dare to do such action. Wag. But rather worship him. Rather with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your strength, with all your soul. Love him. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. No partiality. But whole heart, whole mind. Because after all, if you are spotted, if you have wrinkled, you cannot enter into the kingdom of heaven because God would like to eradicate all the marks of his enemies. You know, if you have spotted, you're bearing the mark of Satan. 
there is participation or engagement with the enemy of God if you are spotted. Spotted means to say you are doing, you are still doing iniquity. It doesn't matter how small, how tiny it is. You know, spot, it is just like that. And we must be spotted because God doesn't want to bring inside of his kingdom all the remembrance of his enemy. And God would like to bring his glory, his wholeness to us. Praise the Lord. And you must bear that glory. That is why what the Bible says, as many as receive and believe him, to them gave he promise to become sons and daughters of God. So that they may bear the glory of God. You must have the glory of God. So therefore, be sincere. Be true. Pastor, how can these things be? With men it is impossible. If you do it by yourself, it is impossible. But with God, nothing is impossible. But with God, salvation is possible. Perfection is possible. Holiness is possible. Righteousness is possible. Everything is possible with God. Therefore, put God as the foundation of your eternal salvation. Praise the Lord. It is not of us. Lest any man should boss. And you know boasting. Your direction will be going downward. Those who will lift up themselves will be put to a base. That is why God would like to make us always like him. You want rest to your soul? Jesus said, come. Let us and learn of me. I am meek and lowly. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. Let us have the same yoke with Jesus. Be not equally yoked with the unbelievers. Be not equally yoked with the people of the world who do not live and in godliness. Huwag kang makipagtulad dyan sa labas. Dito tayo makipag same yoke with Jesus. You will find rest to your soul because Jesus is blameless. Jesus is sinless. Jesus is perfect. Jesus is righteous. There is no sin in him. He was tempted and yet he didn't commit sin. He would like to prove to the whole world by Jesus, even you are being tempted, you cannot commit sin by Him. Praise the Lord! <clears throat> so, magpakatibay tayo sa ating Panginoon Diyos. So, since God cannot hold His peace, He would like the salvation and the righteousness must go forth. So, what He did, Psalms 98, 2-3. Praise the Lord. The Lord hath made known his salvation. His righteousness has he openly showed in the sight of the heathen. He hath remembered his mercy and his truth toward the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Yan, walang tao sa sanglibutan ito na hindi nakakita ng kanyang pagliligtas. His atonement, his redemption, the ransom which he made, this was not done in a corner. But this is being lifted up by the cross. And not only by the cross, this is being done on the mountain so that this will be noticeable for all people of the world. And this is being written in the Holy Scripture. This is being preached from day to day. Praise the Lord. Lahat ng tao sa sanglibutan ito have seen his salvation. But the question is, the question is, how many of them that believe? See? Sinong naniwala sa kanya? Those who will believe shall be saved. Those who will not believe shall be condemned. Let us speak the word of God in sincerity and in truth. We are savor unto life, unto life, and unto death, unto death. Life for those who believe and death for those who will refuse to believe. So the great light shone already. Praise the Lord. At gusto ng ating Panginoong Diyos, that light must shine in your life. 
Jesus said, Let your light so shine before men. How is it they have that light? Because they are disciples, they are followers of Jesus. Those who are following Jesus Christ have the light of life because he is the light. Then that light which came from Jesus Christ, let it shine. Let it, sh let it shine. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> and let not darkness cover it. Let not darkness overcome it. Let's read Isaiah 9 verse 2. Praise the Lord. The people that walk in darkness have seen a great light. They that dwell in the land of the shadow of death, upon them has the light shined. See? The people that walk in darkness have seen a great light. They that dwell in the land of the shadow of death. You know, if you walk in darkness, you are walking in the shadow of death. Kung hindi ka maalis dyan sa kadiliman na nalakaran mo na kasalanan, kasamaan, kalikuan, kamatayan ang tatabon sa'yo. And that death is not temporal death. It is the second death. It is eternal death. But the light of God shone. No? Nagpakita, napadayag, nisinag. Nihayag ang iyang kahayag sa mga tao naglakaw sa kagitngit. O ang mga tao nga naa sa anino sa kamatayon. Nahayagan usab sa maong great light, sa maong dakong kahayag. Kaya sa buhay natin, do not this light turn off to your life. Keep it burning as the demonstration of the menorah. I bought already menorah and it arrived yesterday night. When I opened it, my heart was so glad because I saw the symbol of menorah. And I would like to put on the top of my table so that I could always notice and I could always see the menorah that reminds me that seven days a week, I have the Spirit of God. Seven days a week, this light must turn on all the way, all the time. That great light. Praise the Lord. Imagine that. You are walking in darkness and you are being brightened. Darkness disappeared. You're walking the shadow of death. The shadow of death phew, passed away. The shadow of death gone and the light has come. And that is prevailing in your path. Save ka. Walang kadiliman darating sa buhay mo. Sa sandaling buhay natin sa sanglibutang ito. Madali lang yung buhay natin. We cannot live so long on earth. Kahit pa ubusin mo yung vitamina ng mundo. Kahit pa magpa stem cells ka pa. Kahit pa magkain ka pa ng mga cells ng mga kambing na yan. You know, when I went to America, uh, I visited one of our fellow, Brother uh, Samuel Festin. He asked me favor. Pastor Chit, I have first cousin in Davao City, a pastor. He has big church in downtown. Al, Pastor Al Festin. I ask you favor to please give this vitamins or like stem cells. You know, very expensive. One bottle, maybe 30 capsules. If you are going to buy here in the Philippines, 60,000 pesos. Just to, to, to renew your cells. Even it is so expensive, but the benefit is quite beneficial. But still, even though you made to buy all those stocks and consume it of your whole life, still your days is numbered, being numbered. You cannot reach as Metosela reach 969. You cannot reach as Adam reach, live 900. 30. You cannot live as Noah lived 950. No. Even 
Queen Elizabeth II just lived 96. She has so much money to have stem cells. She has so much money to hire dietitian. She has so much money to, to, to take care of her diet. But yet, she didn't reach at the age of 100. The richest man in the Philippines, the owner of SM Shoe Mart, Mr. Henry C., just lived at least 92. That is how our existence so limited. But that great light will bring you eternal glory. But that great light will bring you eternal riches. Praise the Lord. So, grab as you have seen that light in the personality of Jesus Christ. No other than, no other one. Grab it. Embrace it. Until you die. You know how God opened our prison cells so that we can just let go out of that prison cell? And you know how Satan keep us in his prison cell and he doesn't want to Go to let us go free. Giyon sa tani sa tanas pagkulong ug di tabuy ani sa tanas. Ug giyon sa pud sa Dios kiabrihan ang kulungan para makagawas na kita sa maong kulungan. Dili na lalim. Do not go and sin no more less worse thing shall happen to you. Stand fast in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made you free and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Basahin natin how God made it for us. Isaiah 42, verses 6 and 7. Praise the Lord. I, the Lord, have called thee in righteousness and will hold thine hand and will keep thee and give thee for a covenant of the people, for a light of the Gentiles, to open the blind eyes, to bring out the prisoners from the prison, and them that sit in darkness out of the prison house. You see? How God did it? How God made it to happen for us? Now, I ask you, is there any among you here a Jewish or a Jew? Raise your hand. Wala. I was wishing to meet a real Jew. <laughs> and it was done when I attended in Malaysia the third convocation gathering. I met a Jew. Praise the Lord. Real Jew. When I look at her, because it was a lady, the same. The same, have nose. Have eyes, have ears, have. There is no difference because they were just born in Israel. That that is why they are called Jew. There is no difference. But salvation started among them, and outside of the Jewish people, called Gentiles, and all races of the world outside Israel are Gentiles, and we are the Gentiles. Praise the Lord. And it says here, The Lord have called thee in righteousness. Pakinggan nyo na maigi. And will hold thine hand. God will hold your hand. And will keep thee. Ingatan ka ng Diyos. And give you the, for a covenant of the people. For a light of the Gentiles. You see, how God made his thoughtfulness for the benefit of the Gentiles. He would do from his people to be a light of the Gentiles. To open the blind eyes. And that is we. To bring out the prisoners from the prison. And them that sit in darkness out of the prison house. See? Ganon, ang Diyos. 
Ginawa niya sa atin yan. Praise the Lord. Before we cannot go free from that prison cell because we are slaves and we are powerless to resist it. But here comes Jesus Christ is stronger than the enemy who loved us, who gave his life for us and he opened the door of these prison cells to, to let us go free and to brighten and to lighten the shadow of death. Yan ang ginawa ng ating Panginoong Hiso Kristo. But this only will take effect, the great salvation, if you believe Him. Praise the Lord! If you do not refuse Him to believe. If you believe Him, if you obey His commandments, if you love Him, that is why Jesus, He used to make clear everything. Jesus said, I will call you my friend if you do whatsoever I have commanded you and if you love me, keep my commandments. Not everyone who says, I love you, Lord, and they are real lover of God. Not everyone who, to, who are pretending, I am a friend of God, who are a real friend of God. No, they are all, not all. The real friend of God, Jesus said, I will call you my friend if you do whatsoever I have command you. If you love me, then keep my commandments. Then how can you keep his commandments? And if you don't have knowledge, if you don't read, if you don't listen, if you do not put in your mind, in your heart, his word, how could you have that commandment? That is why Jesus said, He that hath my commandments and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me. And I will declare myself unto him, and he shall be loved of my Father. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. To make it complete, your faith to Jesus, not only a hearer, not only a reader, but a keeper of the word. Yun ang gusto ng Diyos. Sa buhay natin. And as you do His commandments, His statutes, His commandments, not by your own way, not by your own volition, not by your own might, not by your own strength, but through Jesus Christ, I can do all things through Christ that is strengthened me. Because without Him, we can do nothing. So, This light will be sent to all Gentiles, even unto the ends of the world. Saan ba yung ends of the world? Saan ba yung mga dulo ng sanglibutan? If you go to the north, ano ba yung nasa north? I, I was almost uh, rich Alaska. When someone invited me. But it was not yet the will of God. That is part of the north. Dito naman sa south. Doon na naman sa may Australia. Doon naman sa New Zealand. Kung dito naman tayo sa center of the tropical countries. Ikot-ikot ka lang dyan. It's like an endless but this gospel will be brought even unto the ends of the world because God so loved the world. Kaya basahin natin Acts 13, 47 and 48. Praise the Lord. For so hath the Lord commanded us, saying, I have set thee to be a light of the Gentiles, that thou shouldest be for salvation unto the ends of the earth. And when the Gentiles heard this, they were glad and glorified the word of the Lord. And as many as were ordained to eternal life believed. Yes. Where that light came started from our Lord Jesus Christ. Where Jesus Christ did start in Israel. And to whom he is referring that this, you, my disciples, my apostles, my people, you become light of the Gentiles. 
outside of Israel. How he did it? Paano niya ginawa yun? Di ba nung namatay si Jesus Christ at nabuhay muli in the third day, he didn't went straight immediately into heaven? But he fixed first those servants, those apostles or disciples that he must send to the Gentiles. And that is the reason why he called Paul, who was Saul, to be the first missionary to the Gentiles. Praise the Lord. And even it reaches to America, it reaches to Canada, it reaches to the uttermost part of the world. And this must continue. This should not stop. Why? If it already covered the entire earth, but there are more who will be newborn people. Tayo na mga buhay, let us reserve effort, energy for the people who are to be born. Praise the Lord. That is why let us teach these young ones that if in case God will take us out of this world, our young ones will take over our place to be the responsible, to bring the salvation to those people who are not yet born. This must continue until God will decide when He's going to end everything. Praise the Lord! So what we should do? Don't remain in your seats. Rise and shine. Praise the Lord! Last verses. Isaiah 60, verses 1 until verse 3. Praise the Lord. Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. And the Gentiles shall come to thy light, and kings to the brightness of thy rising. See, you know, I, I just dream. What was my dream? My dream was this. I saw ahead of my way, I saw thick black clouds arising from the ground. And it seems a nuclear bomb that being dropped. And that thick black clouds, smoke rising from the ground so high. And it is another bomb, it's being dropped so that the black clouds that rising upward to heaven, it's getting nearer and nearer, meaning to say that nuclear bomb or what kind of bomb is that is being dropped, pack, 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 and it is drawing nigh, drawing nigh, drawing nigh, drawing near, coming near, coming near. In the spiritual sense, this world is so dark, gross darkness. The question is, who will rise and overcome that darkness? It could only be done by God, who is greater than the darkness. At binibigay ng Diyos sa atin ang light na yan, that we should rise and shine because the world cross darkness. Matindi ang kadiliman. Arise, shine, thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, the gross darkness of the people, but the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee, and the Gentiles shall come to thy light, and kings, and to the brightness of thy rising. Praise the Lord! This doesn't need someone who is famous. This doesn't need 
someone who is so brilliant being recognized by the carnal people of this world. This is just being performed and done by holy men, holy people, clean vessels of God. And let us stand for that. Praise the Lord. Tayo ang natin yan. Arise and shine. Panahon na. Lahat ng mga anak ng Diyos, huwag niyong hayaan ang kadiliman tatabon sa sino man. Don't let Satan ignite the first ignition to, your, to the destruction of your salvation. Huwag mong sabihin, mataas man yung pabilo, Pastor Chit. I just let it go. No. Huwag ka magkumpiyansa. Because you cannot notice. Excuse me. <coughs> you know, our journey towards great salvation, <clears throat> it is like a traveling. If you drive a car, if you would reach your final destination, <clears throat> you must drive cautiously. You must drive carefully. You must be watchful. <clears throat> you must have enough energy to finish that journey. You must be sober. You must be vigilant because there are so much cases, road accidents or vehicular accidents caused by slumbering. Or some people are watching movie in their car. <coughs> or some people are texting using cell phones. And they didn't notice the car in front of them stop in a very immediate uh, abrupt, then they were not able to apply immediately the brake to uh, avoid collision. But it's too late. Bang! You see? The same, our journey going to heaven. Don't as much as possible wink your eye. You must be watchful. You must be prayerful. Because anything might happen that you cannot notice. That is why don't let Satan ignite a single ignition of the destruction of your soul. Praise the Lord. But let God ignite his light to your life and let it shine. Let it shine. Let it glow. Let it burn. Keep your lamp burning. By having the Holy Spirit of God. That is why for mine eyes have seen thy salvation which thou hast prepared before the faces of all people a light to lighten the Gentiles and the glory of thy people Israel. Let's believe that. That we will be going all over the world. It doesn't matter how much it will cost for this. God is enough to finance us. It doesn't matter how dangerous it is. Our God is enough for us to protect us. It doesn't matter how long it will take. Our God is able to sustain us. Praise the Lord. That is why, uh, <clears throat> you know, you know, you know that the preaching was it Friday when Jesus told his disciples, "Have faith in God." What is faith? Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. If you have faith in God. 
the things that you are hoping for, it will come. There will be substance. Proof that God is able to grant it unto you. You can have it. What are those you are hoping for? Do we hope for the gospel of the kingdom, the word of God to be preached in the entire world? Yes, we are hoping because that is how God made his promise. And if we are servants of God, we are engaged of that work because that is his objective, that is his will, that is his will, that is his proposal. And we cannot disagree with him. Walk with God. Enoch walked with God and he was not found because God took him. You cannot walk with God except you agree with him. So whatever God proposed on earth, agree with him all the way by faith. Praise the Lord. Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of not sin. Evidence of those things that cannot be seen. Yes, we don't have yet that money. Yes, we don't have that yet transportation to be used for the propagation of the gospel. We don't have yet invitation from any, all nations. But if you believe those things that you are hoping for, there will be substance. Those things that are not yet seen, there will be evidence by faith because it is God will do, will do it. Siya yung gagawa niya. Kaya ganun, just proclaim. Just agree with God. And be a vessel, a clean vessel, sanctified, meet for the master's use, and prepared unto every good work. That is why if we have uh, talked together with pastors, they say, they said, Pastor, this is the most happiest celebration and gathering of among pastors in the holy place. Then I said, if we maintain unity and loving one another, God will fulfill his promise. How good and how pleasant it is for the brethren that dwell together in unity. You will be anointed by God as one body. And God will command his blessing. And the most blessing, he will command that it will never fail, even everlasting life. If everlasting life could be granted as God's blessing to those brethren that dwell together in unity, how about our Facilities, mobilization, fundings, shall not God grant it? If he could grant the eternal riches, the eternal glory, the world that cannot match? How about the temporal things? Hindi mabibigay ng Diyos? No. He promised it. Praise the Lord. If we are worthy enough to be his stewards. Mangyayari lahat yan. Kaya napakadakila ng ating Panginoong Diyos. He prepared already the great salvation to be seen for all people of the world, the light to lighten the Gentiles and the glory of the people Israel. He cannot forget Israel. He cannot forget Israel. Praise the Lord. That is why pray for Israel Pray for the Gentiles who are yet walking in darkness. Let us shine unto them. If you are a Chinese and if you have some relatives in China, communicate to them. Ma, uncle, I would like to visit my father's family. Bring the light unto them. Praise the Lord. If you are a Canadian, communicate to your family. Brother, uncle, Grandma, as long as they are still living, I would go to your place and I have something to tell you. Wherever you are, whatever you are, shine. Praise the Lord. <coughs> Excuse me. Alam nyo ba, <clears throat> I'm perspiring more than I jog. The, 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 if I preach the word of God, pinapawisan ako higit pa na mag-jogging ako. 
everything is wet. <clears throat> After I preach, that, that is why I ask permission. Please let me first change my clothing. My entire clothing is wet. Inside and outside. I have to take it all and change everything. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> because the Spirit of God is like a fire. Kahit pa i-aircon pa natin ito. I already preached in an air-conditioned room. Still hot. Still hot. Because you cannot, hindi uh, mo kayang patayin yung ningas ng Spirit of God. And this is how God is distributing to all of you. Keep it. Love it. And arise and shine wherever you are. Praise the Lord! Magsitayo po ang lahat.